you know, the first message is that the region is extremely diverse. Um, we see in terms of uh, competitiveness, uh, Slovenia and Montenegro um, at 45 and 49 out of 130 economies. And on the other hand, we see um, Bosnia and Herzegovina and Serbia at about 102 and 96. So it's a very diverse region in terms of competitiveness. Um, but most of the countries are actually within the range of uh, the European Union, um, meaning they are stronger than the weakest performer in the European Union, which is actually a positive message. Um, I think in terms of um, messages going forward, the key strength of the region as a region, of course, it applies to, in different degree, to different degrees to the countries, um, are um, the relative high macroeconomic stability, uh, labor markets that are relatively flexible in comparison to other regions, and um, relatively high level of uh, education and health in the region. These are the strengths that the countries should build on. Um, the challenges to be addressed, um, development of infrastructure is a key issue, um, further developing the market side, so promoting exports is, a, is an important aspect. But I think above all it's really in the institutional framework that will have to be um, addressed. There are many challenges related to the quality of the public administration, um, the burden of government regulations, um, the functioning of the court system, uh, protection of property rights and the like.